Hello and welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to access and navigate the detailed information provided by your Neptune Smart Meter. Please note that customers in the Harbor Club and Colbert Water Systems will not have access to this data. In both of these systems, Piedmont Water Company is the operator of the system, not the owner. The decision to install these meters is up to the respective owners of each system. To start, go to our webpage at piedmontwater.com. Clicking the sign in button in the upper right corner of the web page takes you to the login page for our customer web portal. I recommend bookmarking this for quicker navigation in the future. If you've not set up access for an account, registration is quick and easy. Be sure to have your account number available and click on the register here link found under the quick pay button. If you have already set up access for your account, enter your username and password and click login. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the dashboard for your account. The usage history and usage trend data shown here is monthly. To see the more detailed information, you'll want to use the view detailed consumption link found on both cards. This link will not be available until the Neptune smart meter has been installed at your home and registered in our system. We have done an integration with the Neptune system and our billing system to provide single sign on capability between these two platforms. Clicking on the link takes you to Neptune's My360 portal and a new browser tab. The My360 provides an overview of your account. On the left, you can adjust the navigation by using the greater than or less than signal sign. This gives uh, particular useful for smaller screens. You can also completely hide the menu by using the hamburger icon. You can view and manage your accounts here, see your profile, or get online help. The cards across the top of the page tell you which account you are in, the daily average use for the last 30 days, and a visual indicator for any thresholds you may have, for any alerts you may have set. The middle section shows your usage for the past 30 days. We'll return to that in a moment. The bottom section shows you any alerts you may have received. If you don't have any set or have not received any, this will be blank. To view the alerts, you can click on the alerts option on the menu or the alerts card on the top right of the dashboard. Currently, there are two types of alerts available, usage threshold and out of town. The usage threshold alert allows you to set a specific usage level. Alerts will be generated each day your usage exceeds that. The average daily usage is provided here to assist you in setting a value. Of course, you can put in any number you choose. For this alert, we've opted to Receive a message when more than 10,000 gallons is used in a day. The out of town alert allows you to get notifications during a defined time period, such as a vacation. You must select the beginning and end dates for your period, whether you want the notification trigger to be based on total usage over the period or daily usage during any single day in the period, and you have to enter the value you want to uh, trigger the alert. Be sure to click Enabled and save your settings to, to uh, ensure these work correctly. We'll now return to the dashboard by selecting that option in the menu. The usage history in the middle of the page shows the past 30 days of usage by default. You can change the graph type by clicking the toggle here. The account meter toggle allows you to toggle between an account or individual meters if you have more than one meter with us. If you only have one meter, these will be the same. The dashed line on the graph shows you the average usage for the past 30 days, while the solid line or bar shows the actual usage for each day. To dive deeper, you can click on the More Details button or the Usage option in the menu. In the usage section, the default view for the graph is the past 12 months. This will not be fully populated until your smart meter has been in place for 12 months. Any months not with, no, with data not available will show as vertical red lines. Under the graph, you will find a table with the monthly usage showing the consumption and reading for that month. If you have multiple meters, you can click the filter meters option and choose which one you want to look at. The graph type can be toggled between line and bar just as in the main menu. 
click on a point or a bar on the graph to see more granular data for that period. For example, clicking on the bar for the month of November displays the month of usage for each day of the month. Clicking on a particular day shows the hourly usage for that day. This is the most granular level of detail available. This data can be exported to either PDF or Excel file by clicking the export icon and choosing file type. The data exported will match the period shown on the graph. For example, if you're looking at an hourly view and choose export, you will get an export file which includes data showing consumption and reading for every hour of the day selected. That concludes today's demonstration. Thank you for taking time to learn about the smart meters and we hope you find this information useful. If you have any questions, please call us at 1-800-248-7689 or email us at customerservice at piedmontwater.com. Have a great day.